Hi, my name is Makar and today I'll be talking about the war updates in Ukraine um, for December 7th. Before I start, um, I would like to ask you to subscribe to my channel. It's brand new um, and, um, you know, put a like or dislike to this video. I would really appreciate it. So let's move to um, the statistics. So, um, as of December 7th, there are 92,740 pers Russian personnel being killed in Ukraine. Uh, that's plus 540 um, since the last day. Um, also, plus six tanks since the, the, the prior day, um, which totals to 20, 2,935. Also, 5,909 uh, APVs, which is plus four since the last day. Um, vehicles and fuel tanks, uh, plus 20, uh, 21, totaling 4,526. Artillery, artillery systems, plus 8, uh, totaling 1,923. And also drones, uh, 14, um, were destroyed today, totaling 1,601. Um, now let's move to the map. And let's start with Sumi. Sumy and Chernigiv region. That's Chernigiv and Sumy right here. Russian army shelled uh, Haramach of Chernigiv region and Isman, Pavlovka, Kindratevka, Zapsilla, uh, Muropilla of Sumy region. That's you know all this all these towns right here. Um, Kharkiv, uh, Kharkiv region. Uh, at uh, at this direction, uh, Russian army shelled Strelechna, Krasna, Ternova or, or Ternova, um, Ohirceva, uh, Staritsa, Hatice, uh, Vovchansky, Krutori, uh, Volochivka uh, or Volochivka, uh, Chihinivka and Kamenka of Kharkiv region. That's according to the general staff or of armed forces of Ukraine. Um, also, British intelligence uh, report says that Russian army is building defensive uh, ground fortifications in Belgorod region in Russia. That's from Belgorod, from this city, towards Valuiki. So uh, over here they, they build up, you know, defense uh, systems. I'm not sure why maybe they expect Ukrainian army to invade Russia, which is not going to happen, but, you know, Russians. So um, then governor of uh, Belgorod region um, is calling for citizens to form squads of territorial defense. Um, you know, that's I'm not sure how to react to that. Whatever. Um, Russian air defense. Uh, system shut down a missile over Kulishovka village in Bel Belgorod region. Then um, moving to the Lugansk region. That's Lugansk right here. Um, Russians stay in their defensive positions re repelling Ukrainian offensive strikes from um, uh, Kupinsk to Svarova. So in on this um, highway, H26, they do the, you know, repelling Ukrainian offensive uh, actions. Uh, near uh, Kuzlivka and Kotlerivka, Russians used aviation to uh, repel Ukrainian attacks. Um, then, according to general staff of Ukraine, um, on Liman per Perse uh, Novoselivske front line, the initiative is in Ukrainians' uh, hands, and also Russians are in defensive position. Uh, Liman Perse and Novoselivske is uh, Novoselivske, and Liman Perse should be um, should be somewhere somewhere. To the north. So then, uh, Novoselivsky area. Russians advanced and occupied half of this village. 
Lobasilevska is over here. So it's not reflected on the map. However, however, if we look at the other map, Deep State, and zoom in, do you see Novoselivska? So this is December 7th. If we go back to December 6th, 4th, 3rd, as you can see, the gray zone was a little bit smaller. Um, and now December 7th, that's, you know, that's how the positions are right now. Uh, our uh, Russian artillery shelled uh, other five villages like Tabayevka, Pishane, Berestova, and uh, south of Novoselivsky, as you saw right here. Okay. Uh, moving on. Kremina area. Kremina is over here. Right here. Um, Russian army shelled Makievka, Poshanka, and Nevska of Luhansk region, and Terni, Yampolivka, and Liman of Donetsk region. That's all the cities. Um, also, as you can see, these weapons over here. Um, that means that Ukrainian military repelled Russian attacks uh, near this, um, near near these towns. Now we move into Ploshanka. And I'm gonna be using this map. Um, Ploshanka. That should be right here. So if we go back a few days ago, Okay, so as of December 3rd, the gray zone was like this. So as you can see, Ukrainian army and Russian army advancing. Um, and, you know, the gray zone is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller between them. Um, so that's the city, the towns that they shelled as well um, tonight. Moving back to this map. The fighting continues near Plashanka, Chernopopivka, and Jitlivka. Um, that's Plashanka, Chernopopivka, and Jitlivka. Chernopopivka and Jitlivka are under Russian control right now, but um, the reports say that there are fighting in those areas. So let's see what's going to happen um, soon in this area. Okay, then we're moving to Donetsk region. Um, Bolohoryovka Spirna front line, which is Bolohoryovka, Bilohoryovka, and Spirna should be, as I believe, here. Uh, Russian are in offensive uh, positions, however, all attacks are being repelled by Ukrainian uh, army. Um, the fighting near Bilohorivka continues. Um, then um, I would like to show you Bilohorivka on this map. And if we go back to December 3rd, 4th, as you can see, uh, Ukrainians uh, liberated a little bit in, of this area right here. Uh, but Russians took control of this um, region. So... Um, yeah, the, the gray zone is super narrow. And then we are moving to um, Siversk. Siversk is right here. Russian telegram channels say that um, Russians try to break uh, Ukrainian defense uh, from Verkhnyokaminsk to Siversk. From here to, the, to, to Siversk. Uh, but they were unsuccessful. That is confirmed by the Russian telegram channels. Solidar area, right here. Solidar. Fighting continues near Yakovlevka. Um, Russian army shelled Bilohorivka, Yakovlevka, Solidar, and Bakhmutska. All of these uh, towns and all of this area. Bakhmut or Bakhmut. Uh, Russian army and Wagner group, Wagner group, 
are in offensive mode, uh, in offensive positions, coming closer to Bakhmut city border from uh, east, uh, from east and Taos. Uh, and they also shelled uh, Bakhmut um, last night. Kurdyumivka area, right here. Uh, Russian army launched several attacks uh, on Kordyumivka, but Ukrainians repelled it. Um, also, Russian army shelled Bilaho uh, Bilahora, Kordyumivka, Novobakhmutivka, uh, Marinka, and Novomikhailivka. Uh, or over here. Oh, no, right here. Okay, moving to the Avdivka area over here. Russians are in offensive mode here near uh, Yakovlevka, Opetnet, Piski, and uh, Nevelske. Yakovlevka. So they're like uh, trying to um, occupy Avdivka. Um, that's clearly seen on this map. And if I show you. Um, Piske, yeah, right here. As you can see, they're trying to advance in these three directions where you can see the arrows. Okay. Um, Russian army shelled Avdivka, Vodyane, Provomaiske, Nevelske, and Krasnohorivka. That's clearly seen over here. As you can see, these shells right here right here. Um, the fighting continues near uh, near Pervomaiske, which is Pervomaiske is um, should be over here. So Russians are advancing uh, here, but for now unsuccessful. Let's move on to Marinka. Marinka is over here. Uh, Russians uh, stopped their offensive mode. Um, however, fighting is still on for the center of Marinka. So if we uh, view this map, and if I show you Marinka, the part of the city is occupied right now. As you can see, half of it or, or so, maybe 60%. So they're advancing. Um, and this part of my Marinka is in gray zone. So um, allegedly there is no Ukrainian troops in this area, in this gray zone. Okay. Uh, then, then Vukhodar area, which is right here. That's interesting. Um, Russians advanced to the west from Pavlovka and occupied several field lots so technically several fields so if we look at this map and let's move it over here that's Pavlovka and if we're gonna use um, satellite mode right here so that's Pavlovka and if we uh, go back to several days ago as you can see that was in green zone which was which means that it's ukrainian control now it's reported as russian control so these several fields are now occupied uh, i believe it's a it's obviously sarcasm but i believe it's a huge success for for russian army so congrats i'm gonna be going to uh, the previous mode right here Okay, so, and we're gonna use this one. Zaporizhia, Zaporizhia area. My bad. Uh, Novo, uh, Novodarivka area. Novodarivka is, uh, that's Vukhodar, Vonepola. Um, let's see, um, okay, Novodarivka is over here, 
it's right i'm not sure why okay yeah it stays here so if we go back to december 4th Novodarovka was under ukrainian control um however on as of december 7th it's occupied so they advanced here um hopefully temporarily Hule Pole uh, area that's right here Hule Pole how do you do this map that's right here uh Russian army shelled uh Hule Pole Zalizne and Dorozhany Dorozhany uh that's these areas uh Kaminska area um Russian army shelled uh, a town of Plavni right here. Um, also, the Parisia city right here. Russian army conducted uh, 10 missile strikes, um, 33 air strikes, and over 75 shelling um, against settlements across Ukraine, including Kramatorsk, Kravirik, and Stepne of the Parisia region. That's according to the general staff of armed forces of Ukraine. Um, I'll be moving to the Kherson and Mikolaev region right now. Um, that's for dessert. Um, uh, that's weird. Let's see. Um, that's sorry. Okay. So if I use, um, Seven. Two. Okay, that's the same. Okay, as you can see, that um, Russian army shelled all these cities on the right bank of Dnipro River, <coughs> the area <coughs> that was liberated um, a month ago, and also Mikolaev City was also shelled uh, by Russian artillery. So that's pretty much it for now um that's an update um if you like this video please um show your support also subscribe to my, subscribe to my channel i'll be posting more daily updates like this in the future thank you